Time to learn the fundamentals of marine survival is before the alarm sounds. The best safety gear or procedures won't keep you alive if you don't know how to use them and don't perform drills regularly. Since the parent vessel or structure provides all life-supporting systems, any decision to abandon it is not taken lightly. This shelter provides flotation and insulation and should only be abandoned when it can no longer provide safe habitation. Offshore emergencies generally can be divided into two categories, delayed onset and immediate onset. A delayed onset type of emergency is slow developing and would allow for controlled abandonment, where a period of time from 10 minutes to 24 hours is available for the chain of command to complete necessary abandonment procedures. Delayed onset abandonments may result from hurricanes, typhoons, high seas, icebergs, power loss, slow leaking gases, or loss of stability. Your chances of survival are much greater when facing a controlled abandonment. You should use your time from standby to final abandonment wisely and take the following actions. Shut down and secure equipment. If you find yourself in a rapidly deteriorating situation, stay calm and remember your training drills. If drills have been regularly attended and practiced, your actions should be second nature. Establish your choices of escape and act. If you must abandon, your choices of survival craft in order of effectiveness are first, enclosed lifeboat, second, enclosed life raft, and third, life float. Avoid putting yourself in the water if at all possible. Only if all else fails should a water entry be considered. The main threats facing you in a marine survival situation are encountered once you have entered the water. It is for this reason that water entry is always the last option. These threats include drowning, exposure, marine environment, marine life, and panic. 